This has been my travel companion. Missouri, Wyoming, Oregon, Washington, Notre Dame, Penn State, Texas A&M, Oregon State, Stanford, Louisville, UCLA, Michigan State, USC. I believe those are goalposts. After last year's 10-win season, Boise State has a lot of parts to replace with guys who are talented but largely unknown. The coaches will have to figure out how to plug them in, but no one's better at putting together a puzzle. It's like these Boise coaches take a box of puzzle pieces, dump them on the blue turf back there, and by the time they're done, what started as a mystery becomes a beautiful picture. Well, on offense, the biggest mystery is with the pass catchers, where the only known commodity returning a wide receiver is Cedric Wilson. But they do go seven deep at tight end, led by Jake Rowe. So if they want, the coaches have the option to put four tight ends on the field at the same time, pack them in in what amounts to a goal line formation, and pound the football. Or, with the same personnel, they can expand those tight ends out into wide receiver positions and end up with what amounts to a spread, depending on what kind of matchups they're looking for. On defense, they have to replace five of their six players who earned all-conference honors last year, but they do it in quintessential Boise State fashion. I think the next breakout star on that side of the ball is linebacker Leighton Vanderesh. He played eight-man football in a small town called Riggins, Idaho. In the summertime, he was a whitewater rafting guy. In the fall, he would crush people in small town football. Well, he walked on here at Boise, immediately earned a scholarship, and now, at 6'4", 250 pounds, he may be the most athletic guy on this football team. So watch out for that name, Leighton Vanderesh, as one of the guys that steps into the puzzle of Boise State and turns into a player that fans can rally around. If they can put everything together, the pieces are available to have another outstanding season.